Hello, in today's video we're gonna review the matchmaking demo of currently the most famous CSGO Twitch streamer on a pixel who just recently reached the rank of Global Elite. As the most respected CSGO analytic, individual coach, sexual partner and cocaine addict, I'm gonna try to precisely analyze on a pixel's game and answer the main question. Does on a pixel actually deserve Global Elite? So Onapixel is currently level 3 on Faceit and he doesn't really play it but still has pretty decent statistics there of 20 average kills and almost 1.2 KD ratio. He has 7100 hours in CSGO but I believe that more than 70% of them are not spent in competitive CS but rather skin trading and stuff like that which is understandable since he's a content creator and a skin trader. His CSGO statistics in Valve official matchmaking according to some sites that I'm not sponsored by are not very impressive. His KD is around 1, Asian TV rating is 105, overall win rate is 44% and clutch success is 18%. Onepixel's most played map is Vertigo where he spent 646 matches with a win rate of 45% and I haven't found a single other map where he played more than 20 matches. Now since I don't know Onepixel personally, I'm gonna review one of his recent matches from GoTV demos that are in public access instead of reviewing his game from his Twitch ward because I don't want to get copyright strike for using someone's content without permission. And in the public access I didn't find a single available demo to download that was played on Vertigo, so we gotta enjoy what we have. Let's begin! Alright, so here comes the first round. The first round of Cash. This is like LEM slash Supreme game and he's also playing with a tier 1 player as far as I can see from ends, right? So what I would have done, first of all, I probably would have dropped a P250 to a better player and bought a, like a smoke and a flash, but let's see. Oh, I guess he's inspecting skins. Hello? Aha, uh -huh, okay, yeah, so... Ah, and the bomb, ah, uh, hmm. Uh, ah, hmm. Yeah, so he's playing against the stream snipers, that's what I can see at least. Right, it's one of the most entertaining gameplays I've watched so far. Oh, PSP started moving. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, this is interesting. Well, uh, so far, uh, not a lot of impact, but at least something, right? Round number two. Oh, wait. Oh, he left. Fucking hell. Oh, he's here. His team goes out highway. Here comes the AK. No. The, um, <clears throat> okay, sure. I'm pretty sure that's for content, right? The smoke for cross, and he... Um, okay, I can tell you 100% that, first of all, I heard this guy in my headphones, I don't know if on a pixel maybe he had some music playing on the background or something like that, but okay, sure, no problem, no problem, warm-up game, right? Today's video partner is Jetskins.gg. Jetskins is one of the most popular CSGO crash projects, but it also has an upgrade and battles mode. By clicking my link in the description, you will get free CSGO skins for free in your Jetskins inventory and a 25% bonus on your first deposit. Jetskins also offers you an ability to get free money by completing daily, weekly and monthly quests. And of course, the site has a probably fair system, so it's 100% legit. The site supports all available payment systems and cryptocurrencies, and here is where you can use my promo to receive your bonus. So thanks a lot to Jetskins for sponsoring this video, make sure to check them out by clicking my link in the description to support me and thank you for watching the ad. Round number 3, let's look at the economy, 3.7k so that calls for AK and armor, yes. They're running up main, making a lot of steps, getting flashed, slightly picking angles, okay I like it, I like it, Bur decent, very crispy. And gets refragged instantly, but it's not his fault because it was a stack, so I like the pre-aiming. It's decent, very decent aim. Interesting, interesting motive choice. I would have molded connector instead of deep, but okay. And and because of that, you see, you see why I said because I would have molded connector, because of that, opponent could not have picked. Even though, I mean, sure, he kills it, nice flick, nice kill, I love it. But interesting, interesting choice of molotov. Very specific. And he has the information that uh, one guy was an A, so he's playing with his teammate here, trying to get the rotation kill here, which I also like. He's kind of reading the game, like he's, he's kind of... Nice try, nice try. Like, he understands what's happening, even though a better play probably would be to advance like more forward with your teammate and help him, but still, he's trying to make a sort of a play, which I like, even though it's baiting. It's not. Here comes the flash. Decent reaction. Oh, good, good refrag. This is what I wanted to see. You see, teammate dies, instant refrag. I love it. 
and the second one instantly like i i would tell you that he has very decent first bullet accuracy i don't know about spray control i haven't seen that yet but like crosshair placement and like you see he gets like a lot of instant kills you know like first one two three bullets instantly goes in the head when he hits his shots okay two important kills on a and he basically won this round by himself for him i like it drops a bomb getting bo aha okay burn ah uh, next right mm, molly for nbk a little bit yeah you need to throw that from step but doesn't matter covering his teammate I believe if he had a rifle here, he could have like come up and entry for the team. Okay, here's the info that light guys on CT. Instantly hunting for a kill, not hunting for a kill, I like it. Fighting the shadows. Like the gameplay is like two different people playing. Like when he plays with rifle, he's refragging, he's pre-aiming. When he plays with op, he's just shooting smokes and walls all the time. Which is weird. Oh! Good. Penis. They have the info about the second guy on B. Um. Uh, sure. Uh, whatever that was. I would honestly say that maybe Onepixel should consider switching to better headphones because he missed like two easy kills already in the beginning and here. But maybe he plays with music, we don't know. They have info about the last guy, so easy plant. What's the point of this molly? I have no idea because I just literally heard the guy on car shooting with Deagle. And that's round number seven. B has been working out pretty well for them. I mean, everything has been working out because, I mean, but we're watching Pixel, not a tier one player smurfing in globals, you know? Grabs the molly again, <clears throat> missed jump. I'm pretty sure that's not how you do the jump. Um, no, okay, now this is what I would classify as a mistake. The molly was thrown like, I don't know, it, it was about to stop burning. And what's the point of throwing smoke? First of all, you expose yourself. Second of all, what's the point? You can wait one more second and just jump with the same result, but without exposing yourself. So... Teammates made two entries on A. He instantly rotates, I like it. What is he trying to shoot here? I kinda... Bro, it's like I'm watching two different people, you know, when he plays with rifle and he plays with oak. It's uh, really weird. Okay, like, as I said, I can see potential, like a rifling potential here. Nice, PSP1G. Oh, here comes the op again. The second one. Holding position for his teammates. Only for heaven. Okay, he has the info. Okay, so as far as I can see, not looking towards like radar or anything I have, I heard one guy in mid and one teammate just died in CT. You have all the info. Interesting flash. Interesting smoke. Aha, uh -huh, now, okay, so now he has the 100% information. He's, try he's, he's trying to get the bomb here. Now he gets the info. Opponent definitely heard him. Definitely heard him. I mean, I would have went B, to be honest. I I don't know. It's just just instinct, but I would have went B. Okay, okay. Well, this is what I want to see. Look, bro. Like when he actually try, like he has the info. Even though like he's not trying to entry, I haven't seen him try to like go out first so far. But when he has the info and he has a rifle or a deagle, whatever, that is not a no. He tries to make a play according to the info, which I like. Almost, almost. You see, he hears a guy breaking wins, and he, according to this information, he's trying to make a kill, which I like. Mm-hmm. I like it. He's gonna be trying to make a kill here. Yes, he is. Almost, almost. He, he made some decent damage here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Here comes a scout. Interesting choice. Okay, decent damage. Oh my, okay. Holy shit. 
teammate is on city, so he should only be worried about... Aha. Uh -huh. Never mind. Okay. What I see, his strong, uh, his like strongest points is uh, when he plays with rifle, is refrag ability, uh, crosshair placement, first bullet accuracy. When he plays with um, op or whatever, like any scoped weapon, is just the flicks, just the flicks. So like I can see him making a lot more impact as a rifler rather than an oper. But maybe it's just the lack of experience. But so far so good. 411, CT side first round. Huh? Okay, gets the info. Nice. One. As I said, first bullet accuracy and cross placement. Very decent. Unlucky. Yeah, does he have a smoke? It doesn't. Nice. But again, peeking so wide open is not worth it. It's one kill potential. Sure, you can get one kill, but then you're getting refragged and you're kind of losing the side because you're the anchor of a side. Better to do some sort of informational play, like jump behind the side, get the info, you know, just like collect the info, maybe wait, make one kill retreat. When you make one kill and stay in the same position, the chances of you getting refragged refrag especially on the higher ranks higher elo whatever are very high because opponents are not stupid he made one kill decent but fall back change position no he has no money here so he's gonna be expecting a drop here someone's gonna be giving a drop hello yeah kind of late maybe teammates have a little bit uh delay in the brain oh okay here's the info about the no need to be here. Now the mistakes are fatal, I'd say. Like from Arrow's POV, you could have probably seen the op here, and you know that one guy's here and one guy's here. So what's the point? They need to come to you, right? Oh. Okay, no need to repick, right? No need. Again, the same. One second. Okay. Next round, which is gonna be a full buy. There comes the Ope. They have three sniper rifles in their team, which is f***ing delusional. Decent kill. Decent kill, but you know, instantly refract. Nothing he could have done here. At least he made his impact. Uh, but again, kind of like when he plays with rifle, deagle, whatever, on doesn't matter T side or CT side, he's trying to make a play according to his aim. When he plays with Ope, He's like a like a turret, you know. He's like he stays in in the same position. Does he's so passive? It's insane. Here comes the. Is it gonna be? Jesus Christ! Don't tell me. That's a one way, guys. Mm -hmm. They they know that there is one guy in main. Decent nade damage. Very decent. He exposed his position. Picked from a flash, I like it. Retreats, changes the position, no need to be repeat. He has the info, one guy in door, one guy in main. The guy in door gets killed. Teammates are helping. Yeah, I like it. I love it. Teammates flash for him, he peeked, he switched the position. Basically, perfection, you know? Like, very, very decent. Why can't he just do that all the time? He would have, you know, made way more impact. Okay. Enemies are rushing B. He's rotating. Breaks the vent. It's one kill. Instantly goes in. Second kill. Perfect. The nade. Boom. Kill number three. The molly. I like it. I like it. Pretty decent. I could have been this guy and said, actually, you're as an anchor, you're not allowed to rotate unless you see the bomb. But it's, you know, it's MM. Who cares? And the last round for CG side, probably. And he's playing with the. Uh, Oh, okay. Oh, they have the info. One. Perfect. He knows that there is one guy on. Uh -huh. Easy. And he has the info about the last guy. Teammates are turning a knife. I mean. 18. 
and plus one, right? So overall conclusion about on a pixel as a player. Utility usage, zero out of 10, right? I don't know about Vertigo. I mean, he has like most of his games on Vertigo, but not even like the basic smokes that people can throw them offhand, he misses. Utility is not his thing, definitely. Okay, now the interesting part. I can see when he plays a lot, he he's never toxic. He always communicates. He always gives info. He always plays till the till the last round, which is very good. His aim is decent. Not insane, not like perfect, just decent. Like some people just have it in them, you know? Like I'm pretty sure he doesn't aim prac, he doesn't like try hard, he doesn't play like aim maps, deathmatch and stuff like that. And he has this um, crispy aim. He has good crosshair placement, he has uh, uh, first bullet accuracy, uh, spray control I haven't seen a lot. So I would say that this is solid like 7, 8 out of 10. I can see potential here. And the thing that I hated the most is his um, opening sniping skills it's like a complete different person is playing when he's not trying to enter he's not trying to refrag he's just you know randomly shooting fucking walls and shit like not okay the final answer does on a pixel deserve global elite and the answer is yes but if you would ask me does on a pixel has in him what it takes currently right now to solo queue himself and carry himself to global elite, the answer is no. He doesn't have what it takes currently. But if he plays with pre-made, if he plays with friends, he is good enough to be global elite. So the final conclusion, on a pixel deserves global elite. And I don't. In my 15,000 hours. Fuck me.